close your eyes for a moment and picture this. You're standing on the shore, but instead of the soothing sound of waves, the air is filled with a noise like thousands of soda bottles being opened all at once. The sea is no longer blue, it's foamy and white, as billions of bubbles rise to the surface and pop. The smell of salt has been replaced by the sharp, sour scent of gas. This isn't the beginning of a disaster, it's the beginning of the end of the world as we know it. This is the story of the day Earth's oceans forgot how to breathe, like a giant carbonated drink. The catastrophe begins with a simple yet lethal chemical shift. Deep in the water, the delicate balance that had remained stable for millions of years is shattered in an instant. The carbon dioxide gas, trapped for so long in the water's embrace, suddenly breaks free. The process is just like when you shake a soda bottle and then open the cap. The pressure drops abruptly and the gas escapes in a frenzy of bubbles. But here, these bubbles aren't escaping from a small bottle. They're erupting all at once from the entire Pacific Ocean, from all the waters of the Atlantic, from the depths of the Indian Ocean. The sight from space must be breathtaking. Our entire blue planet appears to be boiling as if placed on a giant stove. But this beautiful boiling is, in truth, a swift and merciless killer. The first victims are the ocean's own inhabitants. Fish from the tiniest colorful reef dwellers to the largest whales are drowning in a swirling mass of bubbles. These bubbles don't just make the water impossible to breathe, they invade the gills and make the creature's bodies explode from within. Yet, a quick death by the bubbles is only a small part of the tragedy. The very gas escaping the water is poisoning the Earth's atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so instead of dispersing high up, it crawls over the sea surface and then across the land like a blanket, or rather, like a giant, suffocating pillow. It is an invisible tsunami, advancing at a terrifying speed. Any living thing in its path is smothered within minutes, as the gas displaces the oxygen, making breathing impossible. Beneath this deadly layer of gas, a second catastrophe is unfolding at a horrifying speed. The seawater is turning into acid. Under normal conditions, the oceans are mildly alkaline, but with the release of this immense volume of carbon dioxide, a chain chemical reaction occurs, rapidly acidifying the water. This acidification is so severe and swift that it can dissolve the shells and calcium skeletons of marine creatures. Imagine vast coral reefs, those underwater cities teeming with life and color which took thousands of years to build, beginning to melt away within days or even hours. Clams, sea snails, and starfish lose their protective shells and skeletons, but the destruction doesn't stop there. If you're enjoying this video, do me a huge favor and hit subscribe. That way you can make sure you don't miss the next one. The catastrophe reaches the tiny, microscopic organisms that form the very foundation of all ocean life, like the plankton. Many of these minute creatures also have calcium shells, which are destroyed in the acidic water. When these organisms, the primary food source for small fish, perish, the entire food chain collapses from the base up. Small fish are left to starve and die, so the medium-sized fish that prey on them also fall victim to famine. This famine rapidly moves up to larger fish, dolphins, sea lions, and finally the whales. An ocean once teeming with life becomes a dead, acidic soup. The impact of this catastrophe isn't confined to the seas, it reaches the land. The oceans have always acted like a giant thermostat for Earth's climate. They absorb vast amounts of excess heat and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, helping to keep conditions stable. But in this apocalyptic scenario, this regulator not only fails, it reverses its function. The ocean releases all its stored CO2 back into the atmosphere at once, driving the planet's temperature to uncontrollable heights. The polar ice caps melt at an unprecedented rate, sea levels rise and weather patterns completely break down. Storms of unimaginable power form and ravage regions, while severe droughts make agriculture impossible across much of the globe. In the end, human civilization too buckles under the immense force of nature. Populous coastal cities are the first to fall. They are either buried beneath that massive suffocating wave of gas or succumb to the colossal tsunamis born from the hydrodynamic chaos. The fishing industry, a source of food and income for millions worldwide, is wiped out in a single day. The atmosphere becomes so poisoned and altered that breathing in many areas becomes impossible without special equipment. Agriculture is completely destroyed, and the food supply chain collapses. So the next time you open a soda bottle and hear that soothing 
watching those playful bubbles rise, remember how fragile and yet how vital our planet's oceans are. It is not they who need us. It is we who depend on their health for our every breath, for our food, and for a stable climate. The scenario of a carbonated ocean may be a work of fiction, but it serves as a real warning about the fragile power of Earth systems. This story tells us that if we continue to pollute the oceans with carbon dioxide, the day may come when the Earth truly and forever holds its breath. And this time, there is no other bottle to open. This is the end game.